Hello, uh, I'm Tony from Sweet171.com and I'm showing you just a quick overview of how we schedule a perpetual social media editorial calendar, a content calendar, or just any type of marketing calendar. Uh, the process is the same for each one. Uh, just a little bit about us. We've been doing social media marketing for many years and uh, we've used many online versions which we have paid kind of a monthly fee uh, to do pretty much the same thing, but what I'm about to show you is uh, kind of uh, our process and what we go through to plan that marketing. Uh, the difference is uh, we created our own kind of method uh, that we have more control over. We consolidated uh, our resources all in one place so uh, we know what to post, when to post, uh, sizes of social media channel, uh, creatives, uh, ROI, and resources to schedule our own marketing and our clients marketing so so just to overview uh, again we we understand there are many ways to uh, to pretty much schedule uh, social media marketing a content calendar or editorial calendar this is just our process and what we do to uh, set up a perpetual calendar for our marketing or a client's marketing so we'll just kind of review the dashboard and we'll go from there from the dashboard, you could change the uh, the year of your perpetual calendar to just about anything. So if I wanted to edit, uh, say, to 2016, I would simply just put 2016 and just review, make sure my calendar is up to date to 2016. And I would say save as a new calendar for that specific year. Uh, Enter that date for whatever. I could just I could just change the file name to editorial calendar for X Y Z client or whatever. Uh, say for us, it could be marketing calendar or strategy or uh, pretty much anything. So if it's our editorial calendar, it would have different information and content and the description items and types and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you don't overwrite the original file. Uh, you'll want to save it as a new file so uh, you can always go back and source the same file and start over uh, and always have this available so I can again change it to say the following year so doing uh, new items are pretty simple I enter a new uh, new field and I just shift cells down and I can select uh, my social media channels and what that specific item would be say it's a blog post and I want to do a blog post say once a week and um, I want to assign who's going to actually perform that and I want to say what month um, I can select um, March and I want to say this is going to be performed on Mar uh, Friday I can look at my guide it's gonna probably say Friday um, but I want to say 11 11 a.m. Fridays, we're going to do blog posts and uh, just look up March and it just enters the field. And if I want to um, get all the creatives ready, uh, say Monday, Monday the 2nd uh, of March, I can just perform uh, an additional uh, entry and I can just put a once a month item in there. Um, and I'll say creatives. If I, if I have a creative field, design creatives for uh, my blog item, and I'll just put once a month, and I'll say I want that on the 2nd of March, um, and that would be on a Monday, and we could start that pretty much any time because we're just uh, planning that process and also uh, the designing creatives for that blog post say it's uh, writing material or whatnot so click on March there's my design creatives for whatever week I can say schedule on the 16th or whatever specific date the data uh, worksheet I can enter just about any type of category in this column say I'm doing a pay-per-click campaign we'll enter that and when to start so I would say campaign and say when I do another I have a trade show event 
and I want to enter that as well. Should show, and I want to just prepare a PDF handout for that. So I'll enter that, just go into my dashboard, and I can schedule those specific events. I want to say insert, I want to shift cells down, and I want to select my pay per click campaign first. And I know maybe I want to do it, uh, have that going in May. So I'll say once a month, and I'm going to say I want to do it started on the first, and that'll be May, assign May to it. And what specific time? Say I could start at any time, but it should be on a Friday. And check out May, and there's my paper cook. Uh, campaign and basically I'd schedule whatever keywords and whatever so for that campaign I'll just start then and I can monitor it throughout so back to the dashboard add my other item uh, I have a trade show so I'm gonna select my trade show and I need my PDF document for that so again I'll, I'll say it's a once a month item and I want to say I want to schedule it I know it's in uh, the trade shows in April so I will say uh, April 1st, and I'll say April, and I can, it's at 2 p.m., and it's going to be Wednesday, and I'll look at April. There's my trade show event, so I can pretty much enter once a month items, plan my 30, 30 60, 90 day calendar, or my yearly calendar, enter items for every month that I have. It might be an event, it might be marketing material, it might be you know, your social media or what you have for, uh, what your focus is for that month. Um, and again, you could pretty much plan just about anything. If you have this spreadsheet already, we'll cover some uh, just general uh, ways to edit it. And if you don't, there is a link available in the description uh, and you could just buy it for a small fee. But uh, just follow the link, and uh, if you like the video, uh, subscribe, comment, and we'll be sharing more information about it.